Whoa! Hello there! Um, yes, so uh, let's make a video together. Now, some of you have already seen my uh, Thingiverse model, if you follow me there. The stacking boxes that I got inspired from these guys. And I thought that I would do a Fusion 360 catalog so you guys can see how I did this. It's gonna be a quite quick video, it's not uh, that much excitement in it, but it is a workflow from start to finish. And of course you've already probably seen the printed model, so um, let's just dive in the computer and get going. Alright, we're starting off kind of simply here with a rectangle centered. Um, so I'm gonna use the measurements of 100 millimeters by 100. I think that's a proper size, fits most beds and is fairly simple to use. I'm gonna do an offset of the original model here because I will want to have it stackable. So I want to have a shape that goes outwards as well. So the first step is just to make a, a box more or less, so 100 millimeter tall as well. So if we go here back to the sketch that I just did with the offsets, I can now um, extrude in here and do a uh, like a, a stacking, what's it called? Yeah, just a slot so, so we can stack it. So, um, not that, 24, uh, it's a little bit much, maybe um, yeah, 16, maybe 16, or 20. 16 looks good, all right. So uh, that will make a, a slot that it will stack on top uh, itself later on. Now we want to do some rounded edges because that is just nicer and it's easier to print as well. So if you have a, um, if you do like vase mode for example, it will print much easier if we make a radius here. So I'm just going to select these models here, not models, these edges. You can do a radius there of uh, all the four corners. You could do the, the whole model with a loft structure, but the type of radius that I want to use, like 10 millimeters here, I think it's easier to do it this way. So then we select uh, these edges down here and we make a radius on those as well. So we get a, a smoother shape, which makes it easier to print because we can't print just out in the air. Then it's time to make the opening in the window. So what I, um, sorry, first we're gonna make a shell here. So we are selecting this top here. And when I put in here, it will shell the whole model. Five millimeters is a little bit too much. I think one millimeter is also a little bit too small. This of course could be changed in the future, um, but I'm gonna go with one point. Um, you know, 1.6, that is uh, four layers if you have a, a 0.4 nozzle. So I think that will be fine, a good uh, thickness of the model. Now we wanna make the uh, window or the opening. So I'm just gonna cut here um, a pattern that will be um, just super simple. Uh, it's just an extrusion here. Uh, and this will allow me to peek inside the box when it's uh, when it's stacked on top of each other. Something that I've been missing from other boxes. It's really good, you, I mean, some kind of, sometimes you don't know what you put in the boxes, especially if you have five or six of them on top of each other. So instead of just moving everything around, you can now make a small peek inside. Now I could have um, just made a chamber on the sketch. I should have done that, but well, you can always do it in, in, in uh, afterwards as well. That's that, and then now we want to do the handles. So the way I do this is uh, maybe a little bit weird, but I'm doing a sketch and um, I am sketching just inside the box. So I'm making a radius in here. Uh, I'm looking at the overlapping section, trying to see what will be nice. And I'm just fighting a little bit with exactly what measurement I want to use. I don't want it to be too small, but not too deep as well. So I think that this will be uh, pretty well. Uh, maybe just a slightly further away, so we don't get too much of an angle. Again, we are going to do uh, the um, offset here as well, in two millimeters, because we want to have a two millimeter thick uh, edge here when we are 
extruding this. Now, um, yeah, uh, we need to exactly. Hmm. Yeah, so we want to extrude it on both sides, but I think I should change something first. Yeah, um, let's just, uh, we need to repeat the whole sketch here because I'm just, um, yeah, th this won't work. Then we will get the whole circle outside. So we need to just redo this. Uh, I need to um, just draw a line here. So I'm gonna just draw a line just to cut it out. So I could have trimmed the circles, but now we can select the, only the models inside, or actually... There's still something bugging here. Mm, my line wasn't correct. <laughs> I need to make a new line. So I'm just drawing here to separate the lines there. I uh, didn't do it good enough in the last step. But here we go, now we can see that I can select this one here. So this part here will be the, uh, the thick part. So we will take both of the edges and Click join here. Uh, let's say a few millimeters. 20 is gonna be good. And then we'll do on the other side as well, 20 millimeters. Click OK. Then we need to find the sketch again and actually hide the body because we wanna select only this, the inner part. When we then, um, oops. When we now start with an extrusion here, as you can see here on the outside, we are now starting to carve in the model, but we also had the thickness. So it doesn't matter how much we carve, as long as we don't carve 20 millimeters. So that's why I'm doing 18 on both sides. We now get a, um, a, a slot here, which is uh, something that we can just add some details on, or, or not adding details. As you know, I like to add some uh, chamfers. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do here, some fillets. That looks good, and we'll do it on the inside as well, just to have a smooth, uh, smoother shape. Because you don't... Yeah, I like smooth shapes. So I think that's gonna be nice. We'll click OK, and... I wanna show you what I mean here, so I'm gonna do a section analysis. So you can see now why I did the two different extrusions. Uh, so when we cut down lower here, you can see that... Uh, in a second... Here you see that we still have the thickness of the edge. So it's really nice to see that we have a, um, a model going in. Now you could have probably done that before the shell function as well, but this is how I do it and it usually works for me. And now we wanna have the symmetry. So I'm just gonna cut the box actually in two parts. Super simple, super easy. Um, got that model hide this one we might want to use it later maybe I'll upload a non-handle version of the of the box and then we want to do a mirror using bodies we'll select that body the mirror plane should be this one here and there we go now we just have to join the two bodies there we go that's actually it it's super simple to do but it's still a it looks like a pretty complicated shape it, it really isn't, but <laughs> it looks like it at least. So uh, I just made a new um, component here, and as you can see, it is stackable and it's uh, also peekable, so you can look inside, which is super nice. And uh, yeah, it works <laughs> even if you turn it 90 degrees. So uh, yeah, I was just thinking about it. It's pretty cool because it's a low shape, but um, I, I started to do some like some rendering here, but I suppose it's not really interesting, so I'm gonna cut that away. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna do something more advanced soon with Fusion 360, but I think that it's really important for beginners as well to learn the simple flows and the simple ways to do things. Uh, this is a super quick project, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions or any thoughts. So with that said, I'm just gonna render this, which is totally unnecessary, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.